Ospreys went into their game against Zebre unbeaten in the Pro 12 this season and their last defeat came against the Italian side back in May. Meanwhile, Zebre were keen to continue their high after last week's win against Ulster. Zebre were quick out the blocks and centre Gonzalo Garcia took the ball towards the touchline and found support on his inside from fellow centre Giulio Bezegni, who ran in unchallenged to score after just four minutes. Zebre fly half Luciano Orquera failed to convert and the home side were 5 0 up. In the build up to the try, though, Osprey's standoff Dan Bigger was injured and eventually had to be taken off after a clash in the air. Sam Davis was Bigger's replacement and went on to be one of two key men in the match. After 13 minutes, he put over a penalty for Osprey's first points. Orquera missed a penalty attempt and was then relieved of Zebre's kicking duties. Garcia took over and proved to be the match's other key man. Ten minutes after Davis had made it 5-3, Garcia extended Zebre's lead to 8-3. It was to be a tale of two kickers from then on, with Davis missing four penalties overall on the night. This one from distance, after Andrea Menici was penalised at the breakdown on 34 minutes. But Davis bagged another penalty before half-time, which meant Zebre led 8-6 at the break, and they edged further ahead when man of the match Garcia made it 11-6 just after half-time. But Davis got his third penalty of the evening to cut Zebre's lead back to two points with just over 25 minutes left to play. Then an incident away from the kicking tee. With Ospreys on the attack, Zebre winger Giulio Toniolatti came over the top at the ruck to concede a penalty. And he was sin-binned for his actions as well. With the man advantage, Ospreys suddenly had an opening to pull away from their stubborn opponents but Davis missed the resulting penalty and the score remained 11-9 to Zebre. The Italians then won a penalty just inside their own half and although the kick was struck sweetly by Garcia, he saw it bounce back off the crossbar. Despite being two points behind, maybe that was the slice of luck Ospreys needed to hit back. And hit back they did. Davis with his 100th Ospreys point, which gave the visitors the lead for the first time in the match, 12 points to 11 with 15 minutes left. Garcia wasn't finished though, and with 69 minutes on the clock, he hit a penalty from the left, which sailed through the posts, and Zebre were back on top, 14 points to 12. Davis though, with maybe his toughest kick of the night from the touchline, secured the win for Ospreys, with 10 minutes left to play. The Welsh team keeping possession for the remainder of the game to win 15-14. Number four. Lots of rugby for you to choose from in the coming weekend, starting with a double helping from the Guinness Pro 12. At the bottom of the table, Edinburgh and the Dragons looking to kickstart their campaigns from 2.30 on 1 on Saturday afternoon. And that's followed by what should be a humdinger at Ravenhill as Ulster welcome last year's runners-up, Glasgow Warriors from 5 on 4. Plenty to choose from from the Southern Hemisphere as well, starting on Friday morning. Otago Manawa 2 from the ITM at 7.30 on 2. Hit the red button at 10 past 6 for your carry cup as the Eastern Province Kings take on the Pumas, that's on three. Same channel at 7.30 for top 14 matters as Breve travel to Grenoble. Sevens is up and running on Saturday morning from six on four, uh, the opening tournament from the Gold Coast, of course, and on Saturday at 7.30 on Sky Sports 3, it is Auckland against Northland in the ITM. Uh, lots more for you as well in the afternoon from two on the red button on one, it's the Golden Lions against the Free State Cheaters in the Carry Cup, that's followed by Province against the Sharks from five past four. Uh, on Saturday evening at 10 past six, it's the Blue Bowls who welcome the Griquas. Day two of the Gold Coast is on Sunday at six in the morning. And on Sunday evening, what a way to round out a busy old weekend as champions in the top 14 Toulon travel to struggling Toulouse. 7.45 on four. We'll look forward to your company then. Bye-bye. Enjoy Sky Sports Live. On all screens, on the go, and the best bits on demand.